Welcome to our series of question and answer about human eye. With the help of this video, we will provide you with some deep information about human eye. So just carefully watch each and every question and try to get the answer yourself. And if you are unable to answer any of the question, we will give you the answer and will share a lot of important information about human eye. So let's get started. Level 1 Question number 1 Skull sockets where the eyes are located are known as Option A. Fossae Option B. Orbits Option C. Condyles Option D. Foramina The correct answer is Option B. Orbits Orbits are the name of the sockets. Foramina, like the occipital foramen, are apertures, holes or passages in bones. Fossae, like temporal fossae, are depressions, pits or grooves. Condyles, such as the occipital condyles, are articular prominences of a bone. Question number 2 in the human eye, how many layers are there? Option A, 2. Option B, 4. Option C, 5. Option D, 3. The correct answer is option D, 3. The human eyeball's wall is made up of three layers, external sclera, middle choroid and the inner retina. Question number 3. Identify the anterior part of the sclera. Option A. Ciliary body. Option B. Iris. Option C. Cornea. Option D. Choroid. The correct answer is option C, cornea. The anterior transparent portion of the sclera which covers the iris and pupil and permits light to enter the interior is known as the cornea. Sclera is made up of dense connective tissue. Question number 4. Which of the choroid related statements is untrue? Option A. It contains many blood vessels. Option B. It contains three layers of neural cells. Option C. It is thin over the posterior two thirds of the eyeball. Option D. It becomes in the anterior part to form the ciliary body. The correct answer is option B. It contains three layers of neural cells. The inner layer called a retina is with three layers of neural cells but not choroid. Question number 5. Which layer of the eyeball has a bluish tint? Option A. Cornea. Option B. Choroid. Option C. Iris. Option D. Pupil. The correct answer is option B. Choroid. As previously noted, the cornea is transparent. The iris, which can be seen as the coloured part of the eye, while the pupil is an aperture. The choroid appears bluish. Question number 6. Ciliary body advances to create a coloured and opaque structure known as Option A. Iris Option B. Pupil 
Option C. Choroid. Option D. Cornea. The correct answer is option A. Iris. The continuation of the ciliary body, the iris is a pigmented and opaque component that encircles the pupil, which is an aperture. Question number 7. Which one controls the pupil's diameter? Option A. Muscle fibers of ciliary body. Option B. Muscle fibers of iris. Option C. Nerve fibers of ciliary body. Option D. Nerve fibers of iris. The correct answer is option B. Muscle fibers of iris. The diameter of the pupil is regulated by the muscle fibers of iris. Question number 8. Identify the correct statement related to the lens of eyeball. Option A. It is in front of the pupil. Option B. It is an opaque crystalline structure. Option C. It is held in place by ligaments attached to the iris. Option D. It is held in place by ligaments attached to the ciliary body. The correct answer is option D. It is held in place by ligaments attached to the ciliary body. It is transparent and behind the pupil held in place by ligaments that are connected to the ciliary body but not the iris. Question number 9. The space between the lens and the retina is called Option A. Aqueous chamber Option B. Vitreous chamber Option C. Thoracic chamber Option D. Vitreous humor The correct answer is option B. Vitreous chamber. The vitreous chamber is the area between the lens and the retina. Whereas the aqueous chamber is the area between the cornea and the lens. Question number 10. What is vitreous humor? Option A. It is thin watery fluid in aqueous chamber. Option B. It is thin watery fluid in vitreous chamber. Option C. It is a transparent gel in vitreous chamber. Option D. It is a transparent gel in aqueous chamber. The correct answer is option C. It is a transparent gel in vitreous chamber. In the vitreous chamber, the humor is a clear gel, but in the aqueous chamber, the humor is a thin, watery fluid. So this was the level 1 of question and answer about human eye. We hope that you have learnt a lot through this video and ready to learn much more with our upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll meet you again with our next video. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe, share with a friend and hit the like button.